I've created a full Imba course for scrimba.com. It's totally free. It's got two hours of content. So there used to be this language called CoffeeScript. I mean, it's still around, but it used to be a lot more popular. It was a replacement syntax for JavaScript. It's got this beautiful, clean syntax that I loved. Ruby on Rails famously made this the default instead of actual JavaScript. And I was on board with it. I was writing lots of CoffeeScript, but eventually CoffeeScript fell out of favor. JavaScript actually implemented a lot of the things that CoffeeScript fixed about JavaScript. And so people said, well, JavaScript already fixed all this stuff. Let's go back to JavaScript. But I still like the CoffeeScript syntax. I wanted to keep using it. And I did, but eventually it kind of just became impractical, especially trying to use React. And then TypeScript came along and I wanted to use that. But always once in a while, I would be looking around the internet for other programming languages that were like CoffeeScript. And one day I came across this programming language called Imba that I'd never heard of. And I was looking at it and I was like, wow, this is amazing. And it has this crazy feature where HTML tags are a first class part of the language. That sounded really cool, but I didn't quite understand it. Whenever I see some new project, I often will evaluate it on what's been built with it. If the project sounds really impressive, you know, like a language or a framework sounds really impressive, but nothing good has ever been built with it, I'm a little skeptical. The thing that really got me was the fact that on the homepage, there was an example of a project built with Imba, which was scrimba.com. And I had never heard of scrimba.com, so I went and looked at it. It is one of the most impressive web applications I've ever seen. It's a learn to code platform where you can watch coding screencasts like you might do on YouTube, except these aren't actually screencasts. You're watching a live code editor. Meaning that you, as the student, at any given time, can pause the screencast, jump into the code, and change it. Imba wasn't very well known, but had this amazing project that was built with it. And I thought there must be something to this. And I played around with it. I didn't really quite get it. And there wasn't a good solution for styling. And so I gave up on it pretty quick. But then, I don't know, maybe a couple years later, I came back and I saw there was Imba 2. And the big feature of Imba 2 was that styling is built into the language. And it was like, oh my God, the way that styling is integrated into this language is so cool. It's beautiful. It's like mind blowing, genius. And so I started digging into it and I loved it. And I was like, oh my God, I can style things so much quicker and I can just build web app UI way faster than I could with React or any other system. I even recently launched my own product using Imba called Task TXT. It's a free form plain text notepad that automatically puts a little timer next to each task. So you can start a timer and time how long the task takes. And there's a lot of cool little UI features within this product, and it was made so much easier with Imba. I had a blast building it. Now, the thing is that Scrimba project that I mentioned has actually now grown into a successful business. It has employees, tons of users. It's very popular and a great way to learn how to code. But Scrimba was originally built as a way to share how to code Imba. But there's no Imba course on Scrimba. It's all JavaScript, React, but no Imba. So I'm really happy today to announce that I've created a full Imba course, which is the official Imba course for scrimba.com. It's totally free. It's got two hours of content, 40 lessons, and I take you through the basic syntax of Imba through to using the HTML, CSS styling capabilities, building custom components, and then we build a entire project together. The project is called a dopamine box. So I saw this other YouTube video by Mike Boyd where he builds this project, a hardware box, where he flips switches corresponding to all the habits he wants to do each day. And the idea is that when you have a red light and you haven't toggled the switch, your brain just hates that. And it gets this positive association with flipping the switch to green. And it really works. And I thought that was a cool idea. So in the course, we build a software version of that project. It's got a really nice fluid UI, uses these cool icons, and you can add and remove habits, check them off persist the data in local storage. There's even a sound effect. There's tons of challenges along the way. So you pause and you learn by doing, by solving these challenges. It's gotta be the best way out there to learn Imba. And I think anybody who's interested in Imba, you will learn Imba if you go through this course. At the end, you'll have all the tools you need to build your own projects. And I hope you will. I hope you use Imba to build maybe a small side project. And I'd love to see what you come up with. So if you're curious to know more about Imba or you played with it a little bit and you really want to get into it, go over to Scrimba, take my course, and I hope you'll stick with it because it gets more interesting as it goes along. It starts with the basic syntax, but by the end, 
you're pulling off pure magic using some of Imba's advanced features. So I put a lot of work into preparing this course. It would mean a lot to me if you would share it with other people who might be interested. Let's get more eyeballs on Imba because I really think it deserves it.